have one enabled. FIRST stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition in Science and Technology. Um, FIRST is actually a larger program that encompasses several different programs um, for all ages starting at the elementary school level and going up through high school. I think that this, this program is, is such a benefit to us and every school it touches, every student it touches learns so much more about science and technology and, and is exposed to that. The, the students who do it, I mean, develop such a passion for this. Robotics is fun because you get to take apart things and not get in trouble for it. There's a lot to learn from it. It can help you with physics classes or mathematics. I mean, there's so much knowledge gained, so much learned, that the more schools this is able to be introduced to, the better, because within every school you'll be able to find people who will benefit from a program like this and take advantage of it. I came and I learned some programming, and it was fascinating, and I loved it. It was a natural fit for me. I really enjoy robotics because I get to work with mechanisms and electronics, and later on I can apply that in college, and then hopefully possibly get a career in robotics or something that's mechanical. I, I haven't done any engineering work before on a hands-on level. I've gone to my science classes, my math classes, and I've learned everything that I can there, but I don't know how to use it in the real world. There's a lot of different uh, fields of engineering that this incorporates because it's kind of like an entire engineering program over a very condensed time frame. These are things that we will apply in life, that we will get an internship or a job in, that we will have a career in. If it's used in engineering, chances are that you can find an application for it on a first robot. First Robotics Competition is, um, is a competition wherein we have six weeks to build a robot um, specific to um, an annual competition as specified every year. We break off into several different teams uh, for a robot, including drivetrain design, mechanism design, fabrication, and software. Those teams each have a very specific purpose that they do in the team as a whole. My job is to work with the software aspect and electrical aspect of that, to turn that and make it so that when somebody moves a joystick, our robot actually moves rather than sits there. We go back and we brainstorm various ideas and, and ways to complete that challenge. We try and find the best ways to score points and um, start from the very beginning of the engineering process with, with determining the, the, what the actual task is. Whether we wanted a robot that was a rabbit to just go around the track as fast as it could to score points or to possibly herd the balls or launch the balls. Finally, once we have a, a design pretty well defined, we'll take that and put it on the computer in, uh, in, a, in a program that's known as computer-aided design and that allows us to make a 3D model of the robot exactly as it will exist in the real world. One of the really cool factors about FIRST is that once we get to the competition, we work in, we work in alliances, which is actually three teams put together um, to cooperate as a team against another alliance. And we look and see um, what all the other robots, uh, what their functionalities are, what their strengths, what their weaknesses are, and then we can figure out that would be a great team to choose for an alliance. And so we have to quickly develop a strategy for working with those teams and then it might happen that the match after that that we play one of those teams is our enemy and we have to play against those teams we have to compete with those teams when my first team is not building our robot um, we outreach to the community we get other people inspired in robotics out of our 24 students on our team we have reached out to over 120 girl scouts over 200 FLL students as well as uh, the general public in our events such as the Pickering Barn and presentations. And this goes far beyond our 24 people. We go to the local elementary school science fairs. Like we recently went to one at Newcastle Elementary and we show them what the program is about and what they have the hope of doing. We also mentor an FLL team at the middle school level. Um, where we, wherein we have team members who go in and help the middle school students complete that challenge, um, which is making Lego robotics. This year we hosted an event called Women in Science and Technology, nicknamed WIST, here at the high school. In November we hosted over 120 Girl Scouts who came, experienced the, um, driving the robot, making the robot, the different steps that are, go into that, and a lot of the girls were truly inspired. I think that this, this program is, is such a benefit to us and every school it touches, every student it touches learns so much more about science and technology and, and is exposed to that. Certainly the students who do it develop such a passion for this. The biggest limit on uh, the FIRST program is funding. Um, the funding that it takes to, take the, to make this team is so huge that 
that it's really a big entrance barrier uh, for a lot of teams and, and even teams that are established really often have to struggle to keep going year to year. The absolute bare minimum cost for any team is a $6,000 registration fee that's to participate in one regional competition and to get a kit of basic parts that you can use to build your robot. This year we have a budget of about $15,000 and we had to raise all of that ourselves um, by seeking corporate donations and, and personal donations and other things of that sort. There's a lot more people that would love to do this program than there's simply the money out there for. Only 55% of approximately 2,200 teams are still active and most of them, the reason that they're no longer active is because they can't get funding and they don't have the resources to sustain it year after year after year. Personally, I've gained a ton from this program. This, this is my fourth year involved in FIRST and since, since my first year um, I've learned so much about engineering and in, in a lot of different areas and um, it's, it's influenced what I want to do with my life and uh, what, what sort of career paths and college majors I'm looking at. I, I definitely want to pursue something technical. I love coming here and learning about new things and discovering about the world, why things work the way they work. And I also like applying what I just learned in my classes into robotics. I got an internship at our local Issaquah Chamber of Commerce and um, that was a direct result of me being on the robotics team. Over this last summer I got an engineering internship from a, a local company called Applied Precision that really helped me to um, learn what real engineers do and it was amazing how many concepts I was able to take directly from FIRST that I had used in the build season to build our robot, take those directly over to this professional company that, that is you know, is turning a profit and, and be productive there. And um, that, that was one of the coolest things for me to see that this is really the way it is.